that then uh, well I guess we were introduced by a mutual friend and I, I I'd recently moved to Dubai and this friend of mine from London had invited me for dinner and I recognized every name on the email distribution list except for one uh, this guy Dan Stewart and I'm like you know uh, who's this guy and then a friend of mine introduced me to one of the guys at Bait and when I started speaking to them about the business idea, he said, oh, you should meet you know, Dan Stewart. And I said, oh, that's weird because this morning he was on an email. So I think, you know, we were going to meet anyway. Um, but that's how we, you know, we kind of met. And Dan and I, we had a coffee. We spent three hours talking about the business. We'd never met each other before. And we shook hands at the end of it. And that was it. And we, you know, we started working together two weeks later. I've uh, hired uh, Eddie, my co-founder. Uh, he was supposed to work with uh, just part-time uh, on music. I mean, because he's a musician on uh, doing notes because we started the ringtones trend in the region back then and I needed someone to, uh, to play the keyboard. And then eventually Eddie became full-time. He's a lawyer of, uh, and he became full-time with us. And then he became uh, more involved into business. Eventually I was getting bored of my previous company and uh, we were discussing ideas to do. and. I, Eddie was a comp perfect compliment for me because we know each other for a while and we trust and work with each other. So Alice Aguirre, I met her at a party and for months I was thinking it was a random encounter. But actually what happened is that she saw on Facebook that I was going to this party and she wanted to talk to me so she crushed the party, she was not invited and she started to talk to me and she wanted to convince me to do a conference at uh, an accelerator she created called The Coming. And I was very reluctant of doing these kind of things. So I said no a lot of times, but of course in person I said yes. And after uh, it's a story. And Nicolas Collin, uh, my other co-founder, I was an investor in his startup and his startup bankrupt. So he lost my money and we became friends. So I think mean, it's not a bad way to become friends. My co-founder was basically my boss. Uh, and when he left the company, he said, you know, come with me, we do something on our own. And I said, yes, let's go. I knew him, uh, I worked under him, and then we became equal partners. And uh, it, was, it was very good because I had done my due diligence on the person I've knew him for some time. The second one was uh, my college neighbor. And uh, we've went through quite some debauchery in, back in the days. So I knew that person very well as well. I knew I could rely on him. And we founded a successful venture as well.